Think of the people in foreign countries and some here in the United States that don't have enough to eat. And yet we are fortunate enough to waste food. If you don't think you're blessed, think about the people that no longer have a job and yet you have one. So this worship is a time for gladness and it's also a time for thankfulness. So put on your best behavior because we did not come through 12 months all by ourselves. We were assisted every step of the way and so let's close out the year with thanking God for his goodness. And with these words, we are now at worship, and we will worship as it is printed.
standing as we will pray together. The prayer is written in the worship bulletin and you will be guided by my voice. We shall pray together. Eternal God, our Heavenly Father, we come to you with this prayer that we may begin this year aright with you and end it with your grace. If we go our own way, we will spoil many good things that you have for us. If we go your way, even defeat can be turned into victory. So we commit our way to you in faith, hope, and love. We pray for those who have not experienced the blessing that some of us have enjoyed. Some have done wrong and have suffered the consequences of their wrongdoing. While many have suffered because of the wrongdoing of others, things have gone sour for others, though no fault of their own. And they are sick, are poor, are lonely, are disappointed. May all such take courage, and may the rest of us take notice and do what we can to make life better and happier for them. Help us to care as you care and to become the instruments of your purpose to bring the riches of your blessings into their lives. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations before the earth and all that dwells in it appeared. You were there. In you is our security. We thank you for your goodness, which has appeared in manifold ways. We thank you for laws that protect the rights of persons and help to order our lives in ways that benefit all people. Grant that in this new year, we may assume our responsibility for making peace, for works of righteousness, for letting our light shine before the world that it may see Jesus in us. Hear us as we pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You may be seated.
give thanks because he's worthy our Old Testament scripture for this evening comes to us from Psalms number 91 you may remain seated as we read he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Yeah. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wing shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made uh, the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he had set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the reading of the full or the complete number 91 psalm. This particular psalm is entitled, In God's Care. And as we approach the entry of a new year, and as we think about what we've experienced and the blessings that God has provided for us in the year past, or the one that we're exiting, we have to understand and realize that from A to Z, this covers all of the needs, all the wants and the desires that we might have in our hearts and our minds because we are under the canopy of Almighty God. Yeah. Yeah. To think about what happens to us and what God will provide for us, all we have to do is just remember from last year, or from this year now, January 1 to December 31, and we'll understand and realize the blessings that Almighty God has provided for us is nothing that he isn't providing for anyone that isn't his child. And from A to Z, the bases are covered. 
And we have to consider and think that, as he says in these passages, a thousand shall fall at thy side. God knows because he has his protective angels for us. And if we surrendered our all to him, if we've given our hearts to him, if we've trusted him, we need not worry about anything. Whether it happens to others around about us, the pestilence that may occur, anything that interferes in life with individuals that might not be pleasant, we don't have to be the recipients of that because we serve uh, none other than the true and living God. God is so good. He is so faithful. And we have to surrender ourselves and be humble yeah, like yeah. the little chicks that follow their mother hen in the middle of a storm or in the middle of a fire. As the story is told of a hen that was in the middle of a barnyard fire and she clucked and she called all the little chicks and they clustered up under her and she covered them with her wings. And after the fire had, con had passed over, someone was assessing what was going on in the field, in the barnyard, and they saw this bundle, this mound of charred mass and the individual kicked it and out ran little chicks <laughs> everywhere in every direction because the mother had covered them and protected them. Where do we get the idea, where do we get any knowledge and what, any information that we might have in life other than from Almighty God? And this hen had protected her chicken. If she does that for them, what under the sun? What under the sun can any of us expect any less from the God that created us. In God's care, you have it all. God bless you. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A New Testament reading can be found in 2 Peter, the third chapter, beginning with verse 8. And the word is recorded. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but it is long-suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner a person ought ye to be in our holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of, the, of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, According to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. The word of God was written to teach us all truth and the promises of God. It was written before by our holy prophets. And God speaks to us today and to two different type of people one that may not believe. And he says, do not be ignorant 
for one day with the Lord is a thousand years with the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. And just because we have not seen some things, the Lord is not slacking in his promise. But it's long-suffering toward us that others may also not perish but have everlasting life. But let us be mindful. Our God is a promise keeper. And the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. The heavens shall pass away and the earth will dissolve. And seeing these things shall be dissolved. What shall we say about these things? As we look for the day of God, where the heavens being on fire shall dissolve and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, we, according to his promise, we can look for a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. For our God is a promise keeper yeah. And where beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent. Although we can't see it, be diligent. For ye may be found in him. Peace without spot and blameless. For the God we serve is a God of yesterday, a God of today and a God forevermore. Yeah. May yeah. God bless you in the upcoming new year. Amen. All right, all right. That he calls 
be his friend. Oh, he knows my name. I'm so glad he knows my name. by my name I'm so glad he walks with me in the midnight hour he talks with me and he tells me that I Everybody can help us with this, right?
to be praised. According to the song it says, because he's my rock and my salvation. Not only is your rock and I my our salvation, he's also our keeper. He's our protector, our preserver. our provider, yeah. our sustainer. Yeah. It's time now for us to hear the word of God. Amen. In the book of Isaiah, in the 30th chapter, beginning with verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. Yeah. And thine ears shall hear a word behind me saying, this is the way. Walk ye in it. When ye turn to the right hand and when ye turn to the left, say, this is the way. Let's talk about moving on in 2020. In a few minutes, all of us will begin to move into new experiences. And the road we will travel is marked 2020. We will find many new experiences waiting for us 
as we move through the coming days, as we move through the coming year, all of us are going to grow older. Some of us will fall in love. Some out of love. Some will get married. Some will go to college. Some will receive financial raises and have extra money to spend. Some of us will give birth. Some of us will leave their parents' home and live to themselves. Some of us will become homeowners. Some will be proud of the achievements of their children. Some will become adults. Some will spend time in hospitals. Some will undergo surgeries. Some will be acquired, required to adjust to living alone. Some of us are going to be hurt by love. Some will be divorced. Some will lose their jobs. Some will know heartache. Some of us will cry often. Some will go away from Jesus and the church. And as we progress through the new year, we will meet again and again the rising crescendo of inflation and recession. We will learn to cut back or do without. Some of us will suffer anguish. Some will discover that the body will no longer give permission for us to do certain things. Some will face depression and extended wars. We may discover that living within our bodies are things that threaten our health such as only a few of the events that are facing us when we come into the new year. Now we do not know where and we do not know when, but present, log log but present logic and past experiences confirms the fact that we shall come to such experiences as I have mentioned. 2020 is uncharted time. We don't really know what to expect, but we cannot camp by the side of the road and let time go by. Come on now. We must keep traveling through the year. And as we stand on the eve of a new year and look into the darkness trying to see what it holds for us, that we might prepare or chart another course, Isaiah tells us, that it is possible to travel the year confronting every experience in your path, climbing over it and travel confidently to the next situation. The passage is telling us that God is never without a witness. In the next year, the Lord will have righteous teachers who will openly teach the truth. In the next year, God will have preachers and pastors. And through their assistance, we will receive guidance and strength in meeting the events of the year. Yeah. Yeah. And if we will listen and heed, we will hear in their teaching a voice saying, this is the way. Yeah. Yeah. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. If we find ourselves in church on a Sunday morning, if we will listen, you'll hear some preacher saying, this is the way. We don't know what the future holds, but we ought to by now know who travels and who holds the future. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when you travel 
through 2020, you cannot travel with Jesus until you have received his good offer of salvation. You cannot travel with Jesus until you have given full surrender to him. In full surrender, that's dying. Giving up what you think mm -hmm. yeah. and embracing yeah. what God come has on. said. Come on. Come on. As you move through 2020, travel the highway with the church. Don't neglect the church. Stay with the church and render due praise to God in each worship service. Don't you know the Holy Spirit is in the church as well as in you? Don't you know the Holy Spirit is the source of power? Jesus said, without me, ye can do nothing. Yeah, yeah. He promised to be with his disciples when he announced his departure. Yeah. He came back in the person of the Holy Spirit and there's power in the church. Yeah. Don't turn your back on the church yeah. in the new year. If somebody makes you angry, sit still and grit your teeth. <laughs> Say, hold me, Lord. But don't walk away from the church. Because in the church, you hear in sermon after sermon, this is the way. That's the wrong way. And when you depart from the church, you cut yourself off from hearing God speaking to you. Move along the 2020 highway with courage. Take courage in the face of trials. Take courage in the face of temptation. Take courage in the face of fiery troubles. You will not be walking alone you can always call for assistance. Yeah. No matter what happens to you next year, if you know God, yeah. and if you're right to God, yeah. you don't have to pray a long prayer either. All you have to do is shut your eyes and say, have mercy, Lord. Yeah. And God knows what you mean. Yeah. And God will answer those quiet, short prayers as well as the long ones. Yeah. Move along the 2020 highway with conviction. Be thoroughly convicted that you have met Jesus in a saving relationship. Yeah. Be convinced that the scripture is the truth. Yeah. Hold to all the promises of God. Yeah. Do not doubt for a moment that the best way to go is in the Bible. Yeah. The Jesus way is the only way to be victorious. Yeah. And as you move through the year, move along with compassion. Be ready to lift up the fallen. Have mercy and compassion on the weak, the tempted, and the unwanted. Be alive with zeal for the lost. Keep your own witness bright and polished so that others will not stumble. And as you keep on walking through the year, cooperate with God more and more. And finally, travel the road to completion. Revelation 21, it says, he that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Yeah. Stay on the job. Yeah. Start with January 1 and finish with Jesus on December the 31st. Yeah. Start out saying, I'm going through. Yeah. It makes no difference what others do. Yeah, come on, I'm man. going through. Yeah. I don't care whether you go with me or not. I'm going through. Yeah. If everybody deserts the church, I'll be in my seat on Sunday morning because I'm going through. And I'm going through by the power of God. Yeah. Stay on the job. Stay on the job and strengthen fellow Christians. Be steadfast to the end. Hold out. Don't give up. Walk on. March on. Don't let go. Keep on going. Keep on going. Go through the fog. Go through the flood. But be certain you've gone through the blood. And if you've been washed in the blood, covered by the blood, sheltered by the blood, and saved by the blood. The flood will not drown you and the fire will not burn you. So walk in the direction of the church every Sunday morning and listen to God as he sends a teacher or a preacher saying, this is the way. Walk in this way. Every Sunday be in your position to hear the voice say, this is the way. Walk in the way. You got many examples in the Bible of Christian after Christian who almost gave in yeah. to the pressures of the time. Yeah. But they prayed. <laughs> they kept on going. Yeah. 
and God came to their assistance. And the same God will come to your assistance in this next year because he is that kind of God. He's a good God. He's a wonderful God. And don't you know, don't you know that God uses preachers and teachers to give you good advice? Don't you know when you come to church, you ought to come to church with open ears and sit there and wait and the preacher's gonna say something for you. Something especially for you. As you're saying, though God may punish his people at times, the time will come when he will send them witnesses. Yeah. And if they yeah, will just yeah, listen yeah, to the witnesses, yeah, yeah. The, the witnesses will point out the correct way for them to go. So don't be down on the church. Don't find fault with the church. Encourage the church. Talk about the church. Don't destroy the church with your word because in the church flows the word of God. And from the word that flows from the pulpit, if it lodges in your heart, then all during the year, you can say the word have I hid in my heart that I will not sin against God. And whatever happens to you in the coming year, don't forget the Bible is full of promises. When I walk through the fog, I won't get burned. When I go through the flood, I won't drown. When I have to carry a heavy load, I won't bow because I got a great God and he's promised never Come on. Never. Did you hear what I said? I said never to leave you alone. Never. So I'm prepared for the next year. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. When uncomfortable experiences knocks on my door, I'm not going to sit down and not open the door. I'm going to get up and I'm going to open the door. And before the experience has an opportunity to speak to me, I'm going to speak to it. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> if the visitor comes with crossbones, I'm going to say, not now. All right. Not now. Because I do not plan to go into the next year alone. I'm going in with God yes. and I'm going to listen when the preacher and the Sunday school teacher says this is the way yes. listen all during the year because God knows when we're about to go wrong and he will give us guidance so listen carefully yeah. on Sunday morning and don't say the minister has been peeping in the window of your house. <laughs> because he's only been preaching the word of God. This is the way. Walk in the way of the preacher. So now my brothers and my sisters, according to my watch, it's three minutes. My watch is what I go by, not yours. <laughs> Three minutes before I'll say the benediction, but we yet have to give you an opportunity to accept Jesus Christ because it's dangerous to try to go through another year without him. And so we must give you an opportunity to give Christ your life. He will keep it and he will perfect it. So if there's anyone here who doesn't know Jesus Christ as Savior 
and Lord. The doors of the church are open and you may come at this time. If there's anyone present and you've made a mess out of your life thus far, you can come right now and start brand new. The doors of the church are open. God, as we step into a brand new year, since we are limited creatures and we cannot tell what tomorrow may bring, so we're going to depend on you again. We depended upon you at the beginning of last year. And now here we are 365 days later, ready to take another journey. The past journey was not always smooth, but whatever we faced, we overcome by your power. And so as your people, we do not fear the coming year because we know that we're standing on the promises. We know that we have a God who hears us when we pray. We know we have a God that will rescue us. And so we're stepping in with faith and confidence and we're going to stand on the promises bless all of your people and if it's your will and we pray that it is that we will be able to finish the coming new year but if not let us be sure that it's all right with you and us. Thank you for blessing your people. Thank you, Lord. You are the creator of all things. You have all the power. And therefore, you have the glory as well. 
So hold us tightly, Lord, and keep us. And the people said, Amen. Amen. And the people said, Let the God has spoken. Let the church say. Spoken. God has spoken. Tis a season to be jolly. La 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 la. 